Well, the first thing I know I need to get straight. How do you pronounce your name? Ovia Gofu. There we go. Okay. Uh, why LSU? And uh, what, what is the potential of this team? Um, so I would say, like, coming into uh, this final year, you know, I, it, the extra year kind of surprised me with all the COVID rules and everything. So I honestly kind of didn't even know I had an extra year. And then, um, you know, just having an opportunity to, you know, reunite, reunite with Coach Kelly and um, just play at a, you know, a high level of football in the SEC, you know, is something I I, I've always wanted to do. So, you know, I'm good. What is it like uh, playing with Harold Perkins? <laughs> it's entertaining, you know, just him as a player and then just like just him outside of football, you know, funny dude, always loud. You always hear him from across the locker room. But on the field, the boy, a dog, speed, um, finesse, everything. It's, it's exciting. I love playing with him. How do you feel like you kind of fit next to him and kind of can play off of him a little bit? Um, just more just like, you know, either him making me right or I'm making him right. You know, um, he had a lot of speed coming off the edge. He come with a lot of juice, a lot of finesse. And just, you know, being able to just, you know, stay in our pass rush lanes, making sure that like, okay, all right, Harold, you coming under, I'm going to come over the top. You know, just uh, having that, you know, that relationship in terms of like, you know, pass rush and all of that. Um, you said that you wanted to come back and play for Coach Kelly. Why is that? What do you, what do you like so much about Coach Kelly and what he brings? Uh, I think I like his mentality, just his, 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 win, his winning mindset and just like, you know, the way he, you know, builds up a program and everything. Um, you know, I was at Texas, of course, you know, when I got the news when, you know, he came to LSU and just like what, you, what he did in the first year. You know, it kind of just shows that, like, okay, like, you know, this dude's about business, and that's how he was at Notre Dame. So having that opportunity to come back and uh, be in a program like that, knowing that, like, you know, I'm coming into a professional um, mindset and a professional, you know, school, like, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. You good. Um, what do you feel like you can bring to the table? What can you bring to this football team? What is your skill set? Uh, I think just off the field first is just leadership. Uh, I've played a lot of ball. Um, I've been in a lot of big games. I've been in a lot of big, uh, big games, big games. But um, I think just on the field, just, just aggression. Aggression, smart player, um, ability to just use speed and power. Um, cover, uh, playing the coverage game, rush passer, just really like a jack of all trades. That's why we call him Jack, so yeah. What was the conversations like between you and Coach Kelly when uh, you enter the transfer portal and you leave Texas to come here? What, anything spe specific that you can share? Um, I mean, when I came in on my visit, it was, kind of, it was really kind of clear when I came on my visit, just talking to him, just trying to see like, you know, where I fit in on the defense, um, how the defense is, and then just, you know, just talking to him again. It was kind of a no-brainer that this is what I was going to be. Have you noticed anything different from him in South Bend versus after a year living in Baton Rouge? Mm, dang, not really, for real. I think I said, they said when he first got here, he changed his accent a little bit. I think he got back to the Midwest accent. That's what I hear. But maybe y'all hear something different. But other than that, though, like, uh, I think he's still the same dude about business. And, um, you know, he trending up to the top for sure. And then working with Coach Jancic, he, he's mm -hmm. new here as well. What have you kind of seen from him? Man, he overseas? has a lot, of, a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge he drops on our group. And uh, it, it helps us. Like, we playing well, uh, progression every day. So uh, he's a really good coach. He knows a lot of ball, uh, been with a lot of great programs. And um, all he does is just drop that knowledge to us. And it's been fun. Also talking about your coaches, Matt House, uh, went to the coaches clinic yesterday, just kind of watching him talk ball, you know, real interesting. Obviously, he knows his stuff backwards and forwards. What, uh, what do you like about him as a coach and what he'll scheme for you guys? And, you know, what kind of mind is he? Um, I think the, the one thing I like about Coach House is just his ability to, like, you know, use his players the way just based off of their abilities. 
and putting putting people in the right places. And with that, like the scheme show brings us a lot. It, it, it gives the offense a lot to look at. And uh, you know, people are stunting from each way. We got dudes, you know, disguising different coverages, and it's it's it's, it's a really confusing defense for the offense. And but in terms of the player in it, like it's, it's very fun. There's a lot of plays to be made, and um, you know, we just you just building a really good defense over here.